Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for lithium phosphate plus barium nitrate. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation here. I found that if I start balancing the bariums first, that works better. I'll show you why. So I have one barium here, but three here. If I put a three here, the bariums are balanced, but now I have the two nitrates times three. I have six of those. So I'll put a six in front of the lithium nitrate. If I had started with the lithiums, I probably would have put a three here, and then I'd have to double stuff later. So six lithiums now, six nitrates. Nitrates are balanced. Two in front of the lithium phosphate, two times three. That balances the lithiums. We have two phosphates, but we have the two phosphates here. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So compounds with lithium in general, they're very soluble. So lithium phosphate is soluble, even though most of the time phosphates are not soluble. Nitrates are very soluble, so they're going to be aqueous. And then barium phosphate, there's that phosphate, and that's insoluble. That means when these two substances react, we get this solid here, the barium phosphate, it's a precipitate, falls to the bottom of the test tube. So we have the states for our equation. Now we're going to split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And note we don't split solids apart when we do these net ionic equations here. So we left the barium phosphate together. Now we're going to cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants, I see there are six lithium ions here. And again, in the products, so they haven't changed. Those are spectator ions. We cross those out. Reactants, six nitrate ions. And again, in the products, spectator ions, we'll cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for lithium phosphate plus barium nitrate. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Li3PO4 plus BaNO3 to the lithium phosphate and barium nitrate. You note that charges conserve. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus is 6 minus. That all adds up to 0. Net charge of 0. Over here, barium phosphate's a neutral compound, so charge is conserved. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.